Hi everyone. Our sentence for today is Kat mana boleh beli kek tu? Kat mana boleh beli kek tu? Oh, kat mana boleh beli kek tu ya? Kat mana boleh beli kek tu ya? Saya dah lama mengidam nak makan. Saya dah lama mengidam nak makan. Saya dah lama mengidam nak makan. Oh, another option. Kat mana boleh beli kek tu? Kat mana boleh beli kek tu? Oh, kat mana boleh beli kek tu ya? Kat mana boleh beli kek tu ya? Saya dah lama teringin nak makan. Saya dah lama teringin nak makan. Saya dah lama teringin nak makan. So in English it means where can I buy that cake? I'm craving to eat that for a long time. As you notice here, these are two new words we're going to learn today. Mengidam and teringin, which normally we use for craving. However, there's slight difference. Mengidam is more specific. Is longing or wanting to eat something. So we basically talk about food, right? Mengidam, that's specifically for that. For example, I give here, Saya mengidam nak makan buah. Saya mengidam nak makan buah. Saya mengidam nak makan buah. So it means I'm craving to eat fruit. And our culture here, if you talk about mengidam, then they always associate you with pregnancy. Okay, now we move on to the word teringin. 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 Teringin, the usage is more broad. Basically, teringin is longing or yearning for something. You can say it's actually expressing desire for something. I give you an example. Saya teringin nak melancung. Saya teringin nak melancung. Saya teringin nak melancung. So in English it means I'm yearning to travel. I hope you clear the difference between mengidam and teringin. This is very important. Malay use these words a lot in our everyday conversation. Well, I guess that's all the lesson for now. Thank you very much for watching and till we meet again then. Bye!